Hey, what's up guys? It's Nick Davenport here, and we have a special guest today at the Brain Range. We have Eddie Gallagher, ex-Navy SEAL, tactical instructor, and just overall great guy. We'll be doing different cognitive tasks using airsoft guns. No live ammunition will be used in any of these scenes. So the first drill we do is a baseline test. It's simple reaction. That means we're gonna see the light come on and shoot. Then we're gonna do some different tasks to see how we can think when there's extra variables. So it's gonna be 12 different lights that come on on any of the four targets. So it begins with a countdown like a traffic light, red, yellow, green. After green, it begins. All the target lights will be blue. So once you shoot it, it'll go off and it'll come on on any of those four targets. Time. He got 12 out of 12 and his reaction time was 0.993 seconds. So typically I want to see at least under two seconds. He doubled that, double as fast. I ain't surprised at all. <laughs> so sub one is where elite level shooters. So I'm not surprised you got that. And if you saw how relaxed and calm and poised he was, a lot of times people come in here when they just want to ah, go, but you're just in the moment. And that's the beauty of these drills I like because even though, like I say, it's not live, it simulates the fact that you still got to be in that moment. Yeah and be in real time focusing. It's a good drill, like obviously when you're switching targets, a lot of people tend to, you know, they rush over to the next target. Mm -hmm. Once you see it with your eyes, your gun will follow. Mm -hmm. So you just track it with your eye, the gun's gonna follow nice and calm and smooth. You're not really wasting any time. You're not gonna extend that time any longer, but people think you have to make these jerky movements when actually that's taking you a lot longer. Mm -hmm. So it's front sight focus. When I switch over to target, I make sure my front sight is focused on there and I pull the trigger. As long as you have the proper mechanics, grip, and are applying all the fundamentals to shooting a pistol, you should hit. The reaction time was 1204. Not terrible, I want sub no. two. All right, one more at the baseline. Oh, damn, son. One oh nine. You came back though. See, the beauty is we talked about this yesterday too. Recoverability. We did it with the troop task with the movement. Now we're doing it with the tactical because you were averaging when you missed those few one point three, but you picked it up, so you finished with one point oh nine. Meaning yeah. that means every shot after that was like point nine range for you to average lower. You know, with my task, a lot of people get discouraged in the mind. They start getting lazy at the end, like oh whatever, I messed up. But he did opposite. He got better. Stay in it. Time. Good job, because when you miss, you got a lot of it, but you was at one six. You finished one, two, four. So the next one's gonna require a little bit of memory, but still pretty simple. All four lights are gonna come on simultaneously. So it's gonna start with a countdown. So they all four come on, shoot them in that order. Red, yellow, Red, yellow green, green, blue. blue. Red, yellow, green, blue. We wanna see the difference between the baseline time with just simple reaction and this. For this drill, about no more than a two and a half second gap, that's a pretty much a good parameter to be in. Three different sequences of the four light setup. So 12 total lights once so again. So once you hit all four, is the it The next reset? sequence will come on, yes. Okay. So they'll change position too, so you won't know where it'll be the next setup. Red, yellow, green, blue. Time. 3.56. Get better than that. I'm doing that again. Five, six. <laughs> I'm getting them yellow and green almost look the same. So calm down. Nice. Time. 3.247. Ah, um, three, four, five.
Right. Three, two, four, seven. Out of 17 rounds, you only shot 13 and he shot 16. Would you take that in consideration or would it be like? Yeah, I mean, you're, you're definitely gonna go for accuracy, right? Because mm -hmm. especially when you're shooting in confined spaces and depending on what your job mm -hmm. is, right? Like ours, if you do hostage rescue or whatever, accuracy is the top because homeboy could have the hostage. Yeah. You're, you're taking that shot, have, you're having to hit right off. But if it's not, if it's just bad dudes with guns. Yeah, it's like, get them down. I'm dumping, and that's the reality, right? Like when you go into a room and you, you have to shoot a bag out with a gun, I'm not just bang. Exactly. I'm dumping like half the mag into him because you're mm -hmm. like, I'm going to make sure he's down. At this distance, I'm able to, if the person's over there and I'm here and I, I feel like they're threatening my life, the first thing I can do is get, I can get out of the situation, mm -hmm. right? Which is what you should do all the time. But then obviously if they start coming at you, that's about, you know, I say seven to 10 feet is where I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, like I'm pulling my and pistol. that's that line up there. So. That's where the mechanics come into play withdrawing the pistol and being comfortable with that because it only takes me from here. And if you go to like, say you had to conceal Right, I'm, up. I'm right there. You're in a situation where now you're drawn out. Mm -hmm. So drills before, like guys are just sprinting over mm -hmm. to them, right? So to me, I'm like, dude, you don't want to turn your back to the target, right? So yeah. I'm here, I engage red, and then I have like yellow. I can, like, there's nothing wrong if I get confused. Like I can just glance real quick, move back, engage. So on this drill, we're doing some agility work where you have to move to the target. So if the light comes on red, you get into the red cone or the blue cone, etc. The goal of this is to stay square down range. You don't want to cross over and over in as you're moving. You want to be in a straight line to where you're going. You want to get to the cone first before you take your shot. So you have to move, find your sights, take the shot and wait for the next light. If you do have to engage multiple targets, right? And I have to switch over to here, like if someone comes out or here, this, my foot placement like this, is impeding me going all the way around. Now, if I have it straight, just like this, I can still swing here and I got more movement this way. And remember where the cone is and then the proper mechanics to get into that cone. That's a good drill though. Where am I going next? If you're, you're shooting with other people, right? So like me and you, we're engaging together. Or if you're going up, I'm seeing you out of my peripheral and I'm gonna match your speed so we're still online. Or if you're slowing down, I might slow down just so like, I know where you are at all times, especially in tight rooms. That's where that's like where it gets real unsafe. We have a saying in the team like calm breeds calm, right? There's no reason if there's no reason for me to like sprint up. It's like just do it mm -hmm. nice and smooth. You got guys behind you that'll send the energy down the train like all right, everything like it's still cool, but if you end up and I see this all the time, the number one guy like bolts into the room, that's sending the train down. Everyone's like, "Oh shit." And they and that's where mistakes get made. That's this is definitely a, a good thing to practice for sure, especially if you go, before you go do live fire, mm -hmm. I think I would do warm up drills in here doing this. And then mm -hmm. once you go to live fire, at least you had the mechanics and like the footwork down. You'll probably have to slow it down just a little bit on live fire just to be like, all right, cause it's now you're dealing with recoil and everything, exactly. but you're not having to think about anything else. Smooth is fast, fast is smooth, yeah. Another thing about this drill too, right? It's what I'm thinking of now is, you know, you have those shooters, like the professional shooters that go out there and do competition shoots. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Those dudes are just like, bing, 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 right? Yeah. That's awesome. But when you're talking about tactical training or combat training, you're accountable for every round that comes mm -hmm. out of your gun. So this forces you, especially when those lights turn on, right? And you saw like I did it too, like you're automatically switching to it and you're like, oh, I got to move to that other light. Well, that keeps you from engaging right away. And that makes you mentally like, hey, yeah, you can have your finger pressed on that trigger, but yeah. is that the right target? Exactly. And it makes you think, and that, that'll help with law enforcement too, as Absolutely. they do when you CQC. So guys, thanks for checking us out. Eddie did a great job, so did Phil. So you see with these drills, it, it challenges the part of the brain that deals with impulse control, decision-making, and handling emotions and regulation in real time. Obviously, this doesn't exactly transfer, but at least you can work the fundamentals and your emotional state, so when you mess up here. So Eddie, what do you think overall of what we did. Definitely have a huge benefit, especially for the, the tactical side, law enforcement, SWAT teams. It really exercises that cognitive flexibility, right? Because you got to determine not only the color that you're shooting, but where you got to move. And you got to memorize where those different colors are. Think cognitively under stress. And then also to be able to ramp up and ramp down when you need to, right? Because you have these different targets coming up in front of your face and you can't engage them, even though you're switching over to them. Yeah. So you have to actually think like, nope, that's not the target and then move to the next one. These drills I would use on any range. So where could they find you on social media or at your facility? I know you have your range up in the- Yeah, so uh, Instagram is Eddie underscore Gallagher. Um, and then I also have a, a website, the where you can sign up for, I uh, do anything from basic to advanced 
pistol rifle shooting, CQC, medical training, uh, home defense, and then uh, also some physical training if you're interested in that. This concept's called The Brain Range, so look that up on Instagram, also The Brain Range. You can see more drills you can do at home with dry fire so you don't have to have the fancy fit light equipment. And thanks for tuning in, guys, and peace. Delete that. <laughs>